What's up, everybody? Welcome back to No Place Like Home. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing fantastic. Thank you so very much for joining me today. As you can see, we're picking up where we last left off, and the party has not stopped. They just keep on going. So thank you very much to all those who've been like, commenting, subscribing, becoming part of the channels, uh, the memberships and that. Thank you so very much for your support. Without it, I couldn't do what I do. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So we got to sleep so we can get some eggs so we can get our rubble upgrade. Now we're also waiting for the llama hut to be filled out as well. So let's get that all moving forward by getting our sleep on. Uh, let's see, we'll put the pumpkins over there for now. And uh, hold on. let's go speak to Cornelius before we go to bed. Quests are all done. That was actually quite fun. And I think the chickens are much happier now. But the disco ball broke apart in the process, and I still have no idea what happened to the farm, and where is my grandpa? Splendid party indeed! Thank you so much for your help! If you want to throw more parties, you'll need to upgrade your coop! But that's a whole different story for later. And since I'm a chicken of my word, here's something that'll lead you to your grandfather. A token of our gratitude. Show it to Mark, the shopkeeper, and he should have some answers. Okay. Now... <clears throat> Now, if you'll excuse me, milady, I have to go on my journey. My duty calls. Perhaps we'll find each other along the way? You never know. Thanks for everything, Cornelius the Brave, and I hope we will meet again. So, the amazing travels of Sir Cornelius. We have to... Uh, it says here, I encountered a talking chicken. He calls himself Cornelius and claims to be an explorer and told me to look for him in the entire valley. That's the whole endeavor. Is quite That whole endeavor is quite fun. Let's see what happens next. So, we have to find Chicken Cornelius in the farm. Find Chicken Cornelius in the village, in Lonely Hills, Underground, Frozen Peaks, and the Dusty Desert. Now, didn't we already find him over there at Rudy's? Not 100% sure, but we'll go make our way through to Mark real quick. Let's see here. Oh, right. And there's a whole bunch of stuff here that we got to clean up from Mark's place here before we can go and see the, uh, the old fogey. Man, looking at this water painting, it looks good. I like these loading screens. They're a little bit long, but mind you, that's because, you know, I haven't had the game loaded for a while into this area yet, so the zone is just all populating and everything else at the moment, and there's quite a bit going on in here, so I only understand why it takes so long for my old PP, my old PC. So if you wish to donate to the channel, uh, feel free. I got links down below. You can either do it through Super Chats on live streams, through alerts while I'm streaming. Uh, there's PayPal as well, so you can just uh, donate directly to me instead of the, the usual cut from the YouTubes and that. But here we go. Here's Mark. Emotional. It's you, isn't it? Max's little girl. Elda. Elliot. Uh, Elrond, was it? I'm definitely not Elrond. It's me, Ellen. Oh, good, meaning my memory's not as bad as I thought. Oh, you've grown. I remember when you're a little pup prancing around. You've been everywhere. Most often everywhere at the same time. I still have no idea how you managed to do that. What happened here? And have you seen my grandpa anywhere? Sorry, not that fast, Elsa. I'll tell you what I know, but before you set off to follow your grandfather's trail, we're in great need of your help. Since you're already grown into a strong and capable adult and living on a farm should be no mystery to you. You could really help us here in this time of need. And that vac pal equipment of yours could be of huge use to us too. After all, it's the least you can do after what you've done here before. Help you with what? And what did I do? Well, you're already aware that living on a farm is no holiday. Max surely showed you all the hard work that's required to keep a place like that in proper shape. And since you're big enough not to hide behind his back, I can finally scold you for all my tools you've damaged and all the chickens you scared off of our farm while testing all of your grandfather's crazy prototypes. And while we're at it, did you finally learn that you're not supposed to put makeup on poultry? I don't remember doing that. I'm innocent until proven guilty. Here, I've kept this photo for all these years waiting for you to say that. So now, before you tell, before I tell you anything about Max's whereabouts, you'll need to take care of his farm and do a couple of things here to prove that you can be serious enough to entrust you with the information on delicate matters. Fair enough. What will that be, then? You need to prove to me that you can take good care of the chickens and that they have no hard feelings towards you. And how do you intend to do that? 
Well, that's on you to figure out. Well, here's one of the chickens gave this to me. Will that be enough? May I learn some answers now? Interesting. Yes, this will do. I see you're not wasting time. I'd love to help you out, but when your grandfather left, I lost a very important client. My last client, actually, and I can't have that. Not in this economy. I was actually packing up when you arrived. When everyone moved to Mars, I thought that I just, I can't just abandon my shop, the work of my life, and what can an old shopkeeper do on Mars where everything is just delivered to your door? No chance to talk to customers, learn their needs, help them out with the right products, or just a good conversation. But now that everyone is gone, I start to regret my decision. Wait, there's no one else here? Well, most of my clients used to live in the village, but now that this whole place is ruined and polluted, well, everybody moved out. But you can help us out. You're young, and since you happen to have a glorious vac pal, you'll be able to bring the village back to its former glory in no time. Okay, what do I need to do? Well, you may want to start with finding the house of Harold, a farmer. You'd definitely be able to use some of his knowledge, and me, well... I'll have a new client, and I won't have to move out. Is there anything else I could do for you? Oh, I prepared a convenient list for you. Solving these problems would be a tremendous help for us. Now off you go, girl. You can do it. Once you're done, I promise I will help you find your grandpa. All right, so the frantic, frantic filtering. To bring more people to the village would require a source of clean water. What stands in the way of that is a huge pile of toxic waste located near the lake. We must construct a filter that will take care of that. Mark knows how to do it, so I just have to collect the necessary parts. Gather five hydraulic parts to construct the filter. Bring the hydraulic parts to Mark. All right. So Mark's plan to bring more customers requires the village to be less toxic and nicer to the eye. The solution appears to replanting the old trees using acorns. Seems simple enough. Destroy the toxic trees and plant new ones in their place. Hunting heralds. Now that most people are gone with earthlings, we must stick together. That's why I have to help Mark by helping Harold. Gosh, that's a lot of helping. First step, though, is to find Harold and find out what bothers him. All right, so with that being done, let's go take a quick little run around here and grab the goodies that we can, can, can. Do it the can, can. All right, run away, come back. Excuse me, Papo. The great doggo. Get this all cleaned. Take that. Some recycled materials. So you can see in the bottom left-hand corner that I'm, I'm seeing exactly what I'm picking up when I look at the suitcases. I like that feature. I like knowing what it is that I did get. Because every once in a while you'll see something go flying off and it's like, oh, that was my preserves. I didn't see it down in the bottom corner, so I know I didn't get it. And you gotta go looking and finding and, you know, all that fun stuff. All right, so there we go. Marks is done. Nice. Now we just got to go back to the farm. Might as well fill up with water for the morning. And tomorrow we need some eggs. Uh, we got eggs. We're going to need some batteries. We got batteries. We're going to be good. Uh, you know what? Hold on. Let's let's just build up a couple of chests here. Let's just get our chests done. I can't remember how much they cost. I think they're ten per. Oh, one per. We'll take it. But there are also ten recycled materials. So let's see. I need one in the house. One out here. So I need one, two, three, four, five. I need five in total. So I got one, two, three, and one more. Ta-da! Done. Well, I'm glad these things don't cost that much. Yeah, the recipes have definitely changed. Thank you to all those who were... Um, going, hey, how come your stacks and everything else are different than mine and all that? There was Eowyn and a few people who commented going, yeah, your game doesn't look like ours. And it's because I batch recorded. Same thing that I'm going to be doing here, especially right now, uh, not knowing exactly what's uh, going to happen with my poor mom. So as soon as I know more, I will let you know. Make sure that you're joined up with me in the discords in order to get all the newest information as that is where I do share it the most. And uh, usually I forget all about the the YouTube community tab thing. It was implemented so late and I have such a great group of like-minded peeps on the Discord that it's just easiest for me to post everything there because that's where 90% of the non or 90% of the subscribers to the channel are hooked up with me. So 
It works, it works. All right, let's put this right at the foot of the bed. We'll have our hope chest here. All right, we'll put that in there. And go to sleep for the day. We want those chicken eggs. We want those eggs. Give me those eggs. What else do we need? We need eggs and, oh yeah, llamas. All right, we'll get this all planted out. Oh, we got a tater that's ready. Two taters. Not quite enough to make a tater salad. Unless they're really big honking taters. Alright, we'll take put you in there. I will take you, 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 Take it all. I could have just looted all, I guess, out of that chest. My bad. Uh, we don't need you. And finale. I just thought of something. That sign that's beside that birdhouse is still there, isn't it? It's going to be right in the way where we want to put our... Yeah, right, right, right where we want to put our stove. This sign... This sign should be tied to the bird feeder. If you pick the bird feeder up, that sign should disappear. Because you obviously know what you want to do with it. Okay, so that being done, let's go grab our la 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 llamas. Because we have a llama house going on. We'll grab our eggs. Just need a shower, I wouldn't doubt it after all that dancing. Oh, I don't have any food for you yet. You want a shower too, you? Oh, another shower? Okay. And how about you? Yeah, okay, but you want a shower as well? Makes sense. You and Eden go shower together. Yeah, I don't want to hear anything about it. Alright, so there we go. Another one across the bridge. Actually, there's three across the bridge, but... We'll get them all. Like Pokemon. We'll catch them all. Oh, oh, oh. Can't have that trash just laying around. We're here to clean up the environment. And up here. And this should be the final one. Thank you very much to all those who pointed it out. Once again, I just couldn't see the forest for the trees. That this llama just was not making any sense to me. <laughs> Brain fart. Don't get old, folks. Getting old sucks. All right, so now that we have the egg. Let's go talk to Rudy here and get ourselves a drill. And I say thank you. Now, what do we need? I think it was like the backpack was the next one that we could get, right? Water tank, pumpkins. Here it is, yeah. Two potatoes for a big backpack. Let's go grab those spuds. And let's go get those titers. Alright. So the flock is partying hard. Recovering harder. Two taters, please. Two taters. And we'll get ourselves the bigger backpack, because that's going to be needed now that we got the rubble gun. Because now we can go into the village and start cleaning it out. Boy, it takes forever to get around here. That'll be so nice once we get all the upgrades going on. Alright, so, first things we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the bigger backpack upgrade. Dun -dun -dun -dun. And we now have extra storage so if i come back into here let's see can't do that for a while uh can't do that for a while uh honey soon enough pumpkins soon enough bigger water tanks Yeesh, not really a big fan of that one when you can just buy the uh well and move it around with you uh mayonnaise not for a while peaches not for a while uh peppers definitely not for a while peppers and carrots all right so everything's going to take a while before we can get some new upgrades i'll meet you at mark's I forgot about this case, this suitcase. So we'll grab it now on our way. <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah, so we got down there. That's a fast travel. That's a fast travel. Uh, all right. So all our entryway stuff that we got to clean out is done. Or early dungeon stuff, I guess I should say. Let's go grab this suitcase over here and gain ourselves some rubble. And nothing like trouble than being in some rubble. Be good, be good, be good to me. Oh, wasn't a recipe. 
You want to get the recipes because the recipes are what unlocks other things. Stuff that you can use to further yourself. Now, you know, we've all seen this area and that before. I uh, tell you what, there's a couple of baddies that are in here that we'll take out right away. Alright, we'll do that. Come through here. Take you out. Alright, tell you what, I will clean this entire area here that's within the boundary walls. And uh, then I'll come back with you folks and we'll start collecting everything. If it happens to be that a day goes by, I'm just going to continue planting and keeping that stuff going as well. Um, I might take and... No, guess not. I was going to say I might take some apples, but we haven't had any apple seeds yet to plant. So, yeah, when I get back, hopefully I'll have some apple seeds. We'll get those planted and that way we can get some uh, food going for the animals. All right, back in a moment. Ah, it's the next day and everything is all cleaned up, but we do need to make a quick stop at Mark's here. We have a tomato and we have a potato. So let's go ahead and get the stove first because we need the stove, the simple kitchen. So we can now make up uh, two ingredient meals. Now we need 13 preserves. So let's go ahead and start opening up all our chests and everything else that we have here. Hopefully we can get some more preserves. So to unlock that, just give it a squirt. Might as well top up. Oh, no preserves. Okay. Fingers crossed. We just need like three preserves. And there we go. Now we have we have enough. Uh, do we have one of these yet? No, we don't. Let's go grab one. Let's go grab a crate. This one shall do. At least the crate, crate down that opens the gate so you can press the button. Alright, more dog food. That button releases the platform so we can go underneath and grab all the goodies that are under here. Alright, this is the one I don't like so much because... No matter what you do, you're going to take some hits. Because they got rid of the camera changes. And so trying to hit these guys is next to impossible now. Yeah, you gotta take you got you gotta take some hits with any of the creatures now on elevations. As you can see, I really had to stand really far back in order to do this. Um yeah, this, this this spot here is really a pain in the butt. Uh, I've had two deaths in this area from just that camera angle alone. So you figure out that, yeah, you got to stand 10 miles back in order to hit these guys up top. And yeah, no, I preferred the old camera angle. The old camera angle devs was much, much better for those who, uh, who can get used to video games. All right, so that's everything in here. We got our preserves. So before we go into the secondary of the area, let's go grab ourselves another preserving machine. And then we can get all the goodies from over there. <laughs> Alright, so we don't have to talk to the old man. He takes forever. We just got to go here, click on that, and yay, we're done. We have the preserving machine. Okay, so running back through. Here's another suitcase and canned dog food over here whoa that just threw that but we did get some good prepared meals out of that one 14 more sweet one more than we needed for our preserving machine oh. gotta love suitcases they have all the goods in them Okay, so we got a breakthrough there. Not bad, not bad at all, if you ask me. Squirt. And drops it down so we can no longer have to worry about the gate. Get all the garbage cleaned up. Oh, look at that. Suitcase. 
Me and the baddie. What a fantastic view. I like the view here. The only problem is, is hold on, let's get rid of this dog food. Whoa, 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 too close, too close. Ah, man. I really do not like this camera. I'm sorry, Ellen, but you can't. Like, that's just... It looks ridiculous. Let's just admit it. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, no, they definitely gotta get that figure. Alright, fox statues. Scrambled eggs with truffles. Woohoo! Alright. Let's go in through the door. Alright, clink, 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 clink. And there's probably gonna be a bad guy or three. Two. Alright, these guys aren't too bad though. You get them both to lock on you at the same spot, they both jump, you then just swing, bada 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 swing. And you take these guys out. It's the spitters and the big green guys that I have the most issue with, especially with these camera controls. Uh, never never have liked them. Um, I did like the ones that they changed it to. It made it fantastic for fighting and everything, but it made it absolutely horrendous for trying to plant. So, like I said before, you know, if they were to change it so that way we have this camera when we're planting and the better camera angle for when we're doing the, um, the, the levels, I would be so much happier. I love being able to control the, this, the, the distance and the direction easily by just moving my mouse around a little bit with the, the water than the way it's currently set up. All about being distance away in that in order for height. Yeah, that's... that's... no. Does not work for me very well. Alright, so that... gets this area all cleaned up. Now we do have the two trees here. And that as well. How far are we into the episode? Ooh, we're running a little bit... Running a little bit too late in order to get that other area going. So let's go ahead. Let's run back home. Let's build ourselves up our uh, our stove, like our kitchen area in that. And uh, you might as well go see our llamas as well and get those guys starting to work. Okay, okay. So we don't have any of the uh, pet foods or anything else stored at this time. Eventually it'll happen, but not at this time. So we have all our llamas here. We should have a green light. Yep, five out of five. So you just walk in, say, okay, I want, why don't you collect more of these for me, please? Then we'll come back in a couple of days and collect those as well. Now I do have another banana hat, so we'll have to figure out who's going to be the honorary fifth chicken. Okay, so as you can see, yes, I planted down some more things. So let's get rid of our seeds. Good on seeds, thank you. Don't need you. These are for the trees. We don't need those for a while. And there's nothing else there, so let's just get rid of the rubble stuff. Hats will go upstairs. Perfect. And we'll put the can... Actually, you know what? We'll probably need that for the next episode but that's where i'm going to end things here today folks thank you so very much thank you for the likes the comments thank you to the new subscribers and welcome as well as greatly appreciate all you members to the channel thank you so very much without your great support i would not be able to do the things that i do um once again i am batch recording i am away for most of this week i'll be here on the tuesday or something like that which i th think is today's episode not 100 percent sure but yeah i should be here um today i think Tuesday and doing a live stream otherwise the rest of my week I'm going to be away from home and then on the weekend I have cavemen so I'll be coming home Friday morning picking cavemen up Friday afternoon and then I'll have him until Sunday evening and then I'll be back to my regular schedule on next week Monday so thank you so much for putting up with the the back and forth the ups and downs thank you for checking out the links down in the description below no matter where you are in the world I hope you had good enough time to kick back relax unwind whether it be your morning evening afternoon good night I hope you and your friends and family stay Stay safe. Thank you. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.